Hi guys! In the last video I showed you how it is possible to get the Mac Studio M4 Max to thermal throttle even with the fans on maximum settings. Since then I found a much better way to stress the GPU. The implications are potentially profound. They might explain why Apple did not come out with an M4 Ultra. In today's test I am performing the same operation on both the CPU and the GPU in parallel, a dense matrix multiplication. First, on the CPU. The fans are manually set to maximum RPM. I am keeping the benchmark time intentionally short because this calculation very quickly overwhelms the studio's cooling solution. As you can see, we are drawing over 140 watts with just the CPU loaded. Now, it's the GPU's turn, where we will solve the exact same problem. As you can see, the system is drawing over 200 watts. Last time, I only managed to load the GPU to about 120 watts. Alright, now it's time for the combined test. How much do you think the system will draw this time around? As you can see, the power draw is exceeding 330 watts. I've intentionally made the benchmark time run short, as I don't think this much power on the M4 Max is particularly healthy for it. What does this mean? As we know, the Ultras are two Maxes fused together. In the case of a hypothetical M4 Ultra, we would be looking at 670 watts of power consumption, more even than the RTX 1590. There are two problems with this. First, while it might be possible to fit a heatsink within the Mac Studio that would be able to handle that much heat, I doubt that there is sufficient ventilation to exhaust all that heat. Second, the power supply that comes with the M3 Ultra is only rated up to 480 watts, almost 200 watts short of this hypothetical stress load. If true, this would mean that Apple would have to redesign the Mac Studio, making it potentially larger to better handle the increased heat load. Oh wait, isn't there another Mac that would be the perfect fit for this? What do you think? Leave your thoughts in the comments below and if you enjoyed this video, please click like and subscribe to the channel. See you next time!